hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is precious and in this video we'll quickly look at the concept of complementary combinations right so two combinations are said to be complementary if they satisfy this condition that is an example is if i have something like five combination two it is actually equal to five combination five minus two which is three and of course we can check if this is true for instance, if I if I try to simplify this, I'm going to have five factorial all over two factorial, which is my r, and then uh, five minus two, which is three factorial. And of course, if I simplify this, I will have five factorial all over three factorial, which is my r, then five minus three, which is two. And you can see that definitely these two things are actually equal. Okay, so now a deduction from this particular relationship is what I have here as number two. So what that means is that if I have any um, uh, two complementary combinations this way, then your n, which is the number up here, must be equal to the sum of the two r's. So for example, here you can see that 5 is equal to the sum of the two r's, which is 2 plus 3. Okay, so that's exactly what we are saying. And we make use of this information, you know, to solve uh, a number of problems. And you can actually prove that this is true. For example, here now, I can define that that's n combination, n minus r. Of course, it's the same thing as n combination all over, by definition, my n, which, sorry, my r, which is n minus r factorial, then into the bracket of my n minus remember this is this way minus the r and my r is n minus r so i put that into bracket then factorial so this is actually equal to n factorial all over n minus r factorial and if you open this bracket you have n minus n plus r and all is in factorial so of course this will cancel this so you only have r factorial so which is actually the definition of n combination r so you see the two of them are actually equal so let's see where this is uh, <clears throat> important in solving problems for instance look at this it says given that n combination 3 is equal to n combination 7 that we should find n and then n combination 8 so ordinarily what we should have done or maybe a question i would have done is just to ask you to find n or ask you to find n combination 8 okay because for you to find n combination 8 that's the second one here you will definitely have to find your n so let's quickly look at this so what do we do to find our n is very simple we will apply the concept of uh, uh, complementary combinations so because of course the the ends here are the same so that means that our n by that second point i gave here our n is going to be the sum of the two r's so we're going to have three plus seven so that means our n is actually equal to 10. so this is the a part and then for the b uh, it becomes very easy then so n combination eight is now going to be 10 combination eight by since our n is 10 so and that's equal to 10 factorial all over 8 factorial multiplied by 10 minus 8 which is 2 and of course this is going to give us 10 times 9 times 8 factorial and of course all over 8 factorial multiplied by 2 okay so this will take away this and 2 factorial is the same thing as 2 so it will reduce this to 5 so we are going to have 45 here as our solution and then quickly if we look at the second example here what's going to happen now in this case they are asking us to find r and also that second condition is what is going to help us please note before we confuse this if their ends are the same for instance let me remove this for instance if i have three combination one then it is complementary to three it must be the same n then combination 3 minus 1, which is 2. So the implication is that my n here, which is 18, is equal to the sum of the two r's, which is r plus r plus 2. The r here is uh, r, and the r here is r plus 2. 
And then if I try to solve this, I will have 18 is equal to 2R plus 2. And of course, my 2 coming here will give me 18 minus 2, which is 16, equal to 2R. Therefore, my R alone, divide both sides by 2, is going to give me R as equal to what? 8. All right, so these are the, the possible ways we can find the problems here to solve uh, applying the concept of, uh, you know, complementary combination. And it's important there are problems like this that you cannot solve except you apply that particular uh, property of combination. And this is where we'll end it for this video. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share, and comment on our videos. We will see you in our next video. Bye.